Hi all, and welcome to Pucker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're going to drop back into Fish World Aquarium in Dandenong, and that's because a little birdie has told me they've now got their immaculate coral tanks up and running. Alright, do not adjust your set or your TV or your phone or whatever you're watching this on. The footage here you're watching is when I visited Fish World Aquarium back in March this year and this is when their exciting new coral tanks were still just being set up. They weren't wet yet and they were missing a bit of equipment. Now, since then, we're a few months on, the, the tanks are now complete and they're chock-a-block full of corals. Well, they were at the start of the weekend. I happened to be in town around the um, end of the weekend and, uh, yeah, they were pretty well cleaned out of coral, but uh, it was still absolutely worth dropping in to check out the um, setup and uh, see how things are progressing. And as you can see, it was just another beautiful day in Melbourne. Um, not a grey cloud in the sky. In fact, the whole sky was a grey cloud, but um, believe it or not, the day did actually get a little bit nicer as it went on. So... The, the store is uh, just immaculate as it always is. In fact, my wife and daughter came with me because we were over um, in the area on a bit of a uh, one-night holiday. And um, it takes a bit for my wife to be impressed by a fish store. And she was blown away by um, the good work that Andy and Leanne are doing at uh, Fish World. She said how immaculately presented everything was. Everything's faced up. Every single fish tank and coral tank is spot on. It just uh, is clean as a whistle. And uh, it's the way these guys run the shop. And uh, it's great to see that nothing's changing. So... We'll do a quick little pan past some of the fresh freshwater fish here. Um, those of you who watch my channel know that I don't often talk about freshwater fish and nothing's really going to change here. Um, I'm just going to give a bit of a pan th through so you can see what they do have and also just to highlight how clean these tanks are. But um, yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're, these are tanks that they're selling fish out of and I'd be quite happy to have that guppy tank right there on my um, bench at home. It looks beautiful. It's so nice and clean. Um, you can see um, my wife and daughter dancing there in the background. But um, before you uh, get distracted by them, here they are, the um, showpiece of the tank of the store, and that's these um, absolutely immaculate coral tanks here. Now, um, Andy tells me that they got absolutely flooded with customers this weekend, which is a great problem to have. Um, but as you'll see, there's four separate coral bays here, and one of them had been uh, had been emptied out, and that's how they keep these tanks looking full. Um, they'll shuffle the corals around to make sure that um, you've got beautiful displays. And um, look, it works a treat. I've got some incredible pieces here. I believe uh, Salty Pets, um, if you haven't seen the uh, video, be sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the um, description below. Salty Pets, Salty Pets, the wholesaler, um, are supplying a fish water aquarium, and it shows they've got some incredible stock. Now, one other thing I'd like to show you is the equipment they're running on these tanks. They're running um, a bit, little bit of a um, similar path, but a little bit of variance on some of the tanks. On that one there, we've got a um, eShops S300 uh, skimmer. We've got a PacSun reactor and a uh, Aquaforest um, uh, media reactor. You just notice the uh, little uh, camouflage fish in there, um, the little red guy <laughs> hiding between the um, coral stands. If you uh, didn't see, go back and check it out. But uh, have a look at some of these pieces here. That one there, um, I must admit, I'm not exactly sure what type of species it is, but it um, was absolutely stunning. And uh, these tanks are all lit up by uh, Illumagic Styles. Um, no shortage of light and uh, absolutely no shortage of color. And uh, the, the four tanks, the way they're sitting together here, it just um, it's an absolute showpiece. And it gives lots of room for people to stand around and check out the corals. Um, this tank here is the one where pieces have been shuffled out, thanks to a, uh, a busy Saturday, which, like I said, is a good problem to have. And you can see there is still a um, beautiful elegance in there. It looks like he's had a feed probably yesterday. He's um, puffed right up and a uh, smaller elegance there. But um, this tank is set up pretty much the same, but it does run one of the, uh, looks like a red sea skimmer there. Um, same sort of uh, algae reactor set up and uh, aquaforest uh, media reactor. And of course, the same lighting system. But uh, here's their uh, next tank, beautiful bristle tooth tang in there. Um, you can see we've got some blastos, some uh, chalice, we've got frog spawns, deshies, more chalice, favias, hammers, gonoporias, um, some more chalice, we've got some duncan frags there, some hammers, some mazes up the back, we've got some rhodactus along the front there, some some nice frags and a nice little variety of, um, of corals there too, ranging in budgets if you're looking for that uh, absolute showpiece. Here's my uh, wife and daughter dancing again. And it's a good sign of just the vibe that's in the, sh in the store. They've got some cool music playing there and it just feels really uh, young and modern. Um, actually made me feel like I wasn't an old man at 35, <laughs> which is a pretty rare thing to do. 
anyway, as you can see here, this is a bit of an update from uh, when I was in here last time. We got this uh, clownfish and nem tank here. It still looks uh, fairly new, but I can imagine uh, once those nems settle in and all those clowns start hosting them, it'll, um, in fact, you can see some clowns already starting to host them. It'll look um, incredible. So I'm keen to come back and see how that looks in uh, another five, six months time. Now, this is uh, one of the draw cards of Fishworld Aquarium, and uh, if you follow their Facebook page at all, you'll see some unbelievable footage of um, these these fish uh, sail tanks because um, they are always spotless, and the fish just look so healthy and happy and bright and colourful. Um, and they take some incredible footage and put it on their um, Facebook page. So it's almost um, embarrassing for me to try and take some footage to um, not compete, but um, even remotely compared to the footage they take. But uh, you can't come into a fish shop and uh, not get footage of the fish. So uh, let's just pan through. You can see some incredible uh, wrasse there. There's been a couple of Atlantic blue tangs, which are just um, stunning. We can see a um, there was a bicolor angel there, beautiful sailfin tang. Um, lots of clowns, some more wrasse, uh, lovely blue throat trigger back there. We can see a nice angel there. Uh, looks like a gold spot rabbit fish, another uh, sailfin, a different type of uh, trigger there. I'm not sure what type of trigger he was, probably one that's not too reef safe, um, but that's okay. You got a nice little uh, uh, multi bar angel there. We can see uh, some cool uh, fox faces. That's a uh, Fijian one. Looks like a, um, that could be a long fin snapper. If anyone wants to correct me on that, feel free to comment down below. But uh, yeah, he's a different kind of fish. Um, we've got a nice looking wrasse there. You can see a lovely blonde lipstick tang there. One of my favorite fish of all time. Beautiful, healthy looking copper band. Um, another rabbit fish there. Some more wrasse, some clownfish, of course. Um, we've got a, uh, I'm assuming he's a pyramid butterfly, just a little bit spooked, or maybe he's a little bit of a, variant of a pyramid butterfly because he's only got this little splash of yellow on top um, and he's predominantly black so um, hopefully Andy or Leanne will be able to fill me in what the go is with him because uh, yeah he's a little bit special. Now in these tanks you can see um, plenty of uh, return pump action there we've got uh, Great Western Skimmers on them which is an Australian brand of skimmer this one's got an e-shops um, they've got lots of mechanical filtration and some uh, some media uh, material there just to help the bacteria load as these fish come and go there's a bit more footage of that um trigger he's uh he, he's pretty cool he's like a bit of a freckle trigger or something I, i'm sure that's not a species but uh that's what i'm going to call it and uh yeah you see my daughter there still dancing uh, one of her favorite songs that came on in store um now you can see here the uh, range of uh, dry goods has not uh, eased up they've got a beautifully presented dry goods section everything is faced uh, perfectly prices are clear to see um, and uh, everything just looks great as always. Um, not dusty products or anything like that. It all looks nice and clean and modern. And uh, you can't uh, visit, visit Fishworld Aquarium without um, checking out their, their 10 foot display tank here. It's um, an absolute centerpiece of the store and always has some uh, beautiful fish and corals in there. And um, just uh, you, you can spend, uh, find yourself spending 10 to 15 minutes walking around this tank, um, just finding new bits and pieces hiding in there. It's um, something to see. So. I'm pretty much at the end of this video now. Um, I just wanted to do a real quick one just to show you that uh, Fishwater Aquarium have these incredible uh, coral uh, bay set up now um, and I was passing by, so I thought I'd grab the camera and get some footage. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, uh, put any comments in the uh, comment section down below. Feel free to subscribe, it, it uh, really helps my uh, YouTube rankings and um, if you wanna share the video, by all means, go for it. But um, thanks for watching everyone, catch up with you next time and uh, yeah, enjoy your reefing. Thanks, bye.